Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Google Sheets API in Python tutorial. My name is Jay. In this video, we're going to learn how to use Google Sheets API to set the column width and row height uh, in Python. All right, so here's my Google Sheets. In cell A1, I type a bunch of A strings. And if we look at the column width, the text in the cell exceeds the column width. In cell A4, I have Hello World Python. And these three texts are stacked uh, vertically. And if we simply just looking at the cell, we'll assume that uh, in cell A4, there's only one text, which is hello uh, in the cell. And our goal is to be able to use Google Sheets API to set the column words and the row heights uh, to display all the text. And to achieve those texts, we need to uh, use the update dimension properties request, as well as for out of fit, we can use the auto resize dimension request. And those are the two requests we'll be using. Now let's go into Python editor. And here I have my uh, code template. And let me go back to my Google spreadsheet. And let me grab the Wushi ID. I'm going to create a variable called she ID. I'm going to store the uh, Wushi ID uh, to the she ID variable. Next, I need to create my request body uh, object. Inside the request body object, I need to provide my request's property. And it's going to be a list. For the first request, we're going to use the update dimension properties uh, request. And if we go back to the documentation, the update dimension properties request has three properties, range, properties, and fields. If we navigate to the properties uh, property, and these are the properties are uh, available. And to merely set the column width and row heights, we need to use the pixel size property. Now let's go back. Here I'm going to insert my range property. We need to provide the she ID. For the dimension, I'm going to set the column width first. So I'm going to type columns. And we need to specify the column index. So let's take a look. And my column is going to be column A. And my row is going to be the first row. My column is going to be column A. So let's go back. So we can type star index is going to be zero and the end index is going to be one and for the property is property want to set the pixel size let's do 160 and we need to provide the field name so fields, and what type the properties we'll be using. So pixel size. Now I'm going to uh, copy this dictionary object. I'm going to make a copy. And here I'm going to change the dimension from columns to row. And my row index is going to be from uh, 3 to 4. For the pixel size, let's set that to 50. And that's everything we need to write for the request body object. Now we can make an API call. So here I'm going to insert my service object, that spreadsheet, spreadsheets, that batch update. I need to provide my spreadsheet ID as well as the body request, the execute. Now if I press F5 to run the script, and here I have a typo, let me take a look. Oh, so here's, uh, I have a typo. This should be spreadsheet ID. Now let me run again. And this time I'm getting a different uh, error. Oh, so this should be Perl, rows, not row. 
Right, so this time the script executes successfully. Now if I go back to my uh, my spreadsheet, aim here, then seem that I set the column width uh, wide enough. And for the row height, so if we check the row height, and the row height is currently set to 50. Now let me fix the column width. So in case if we need to fix the column width, so I can just change the pixel size and run it. And this time the column width fit much better. So if I click on resize column, and here our pixel size set to 360. Now let me resize the column width back to the original pixel size. Right, I think that's pretty good. Right, so that's one way to do it, uh, which is to merely set the column width and the row height. And the other method to set the column width and the row height is to use the auto fit feature, and which I'll show you right now. So this one is example number one. Merely set the column width and row height. Now I'm going to copy everything. And this one's going to be example number two, auto fit column width and row height. To auto fit a column width and row height, we need to change the update dimension properties to auto resize dimension. Actually, auto resize dimensions. And we can delete fields and properties. Now if I press F5 to run the script, and here's getting the unknown name, auto resize. Oh, okay, so I forgot one thing. Within the auto resize dimensions property, let's go back to the documentation real quick. Inside the auto resize dimension request, we need to provide the dimensions property. And this property takes four parameters. She ID, dimension, star index, and the end index. So that means all I have to do is just need to change range to dimensions. Now if I press F5 to run it, and still getting the unknown name error. Let me check. Oh, okay, so here I have a typo. Uh, it should be dimensions, not, I forgot the I. So here, let me retype the property name. All right, now let me try again. If I run the script, I'm still getting the same error. Auto resize dimension is incorrect. Oh, so this should be Perl, so dimensions. All right, so this time the script executes successfully. Now if I go back to the Google spreadsheet, both cells are out of fitted to, uh, to display all the text in both cells. So this is everything I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.